FTW is a, is a new company studio experiment that I've um, been working on for the past year. And I can tell you a bit about you know, what, what got us started. So the idea is to create a platform that would enable us to create um, mass participatory experiences. And the thinking behind it, <clears throat> really going back to um, human nature. And you know, we are all social animals, group animals. That's in our, in our DNA, that's how we've been um, since you know, humans started walking on the earth. But we kind of started veering away from it about 10,000 years ago when we started domesticating plants and animals and broke the tribal structure. Um, and fast forward to today, we live in a much more um, solitary style. You know, we're down to the nuclear family unit, most of us, or living on our own. And many of us work um, alone. And then, you know, our old people are usually also alone. So we really, you know, broke down the tribal structure to the individual. And this is just not in our nature. Some people do well in that type of setting. Most of us, it leads to, you know, loneliness and anxiety and depression and so on. And the internet held this, this amazing promise of bringing us together. And for a while, it seemed like, like it would, right? You know, we connected with old friends on Facebook. We spoke with family and friends that are away from us on Skype. And those things are obviously great. We, you know, we find kindred spirits around the globe, and we talk with them on, on Reddit. But when the internet became mobile and personalized and customized and in our pocket, it also did more to isolate us even further. Because you know, now we have this device, you know, we're on our way, <clears throat> on our way commuting to work, we're on the, on the phone, in the line to Starbucks, we're on the phone, in the elevator, we're on the phone, on the bathroom, we're on the phone. And most of the time when we're with this device, we have this amazing customized, personalized experience where it's made just for us. And AI is making it better because it, you know, it can shore up things that we didn't even know we, we want. So we live in this amazing uh, custom world it's made just for us, but the collateral damage is that we're the only one there. So we're having this amazing experience, but we're having it alone. And that's kind of what we're trying to, to change. We don't think those personalized experiences are going away. And obviously, it's great you know, once you put the kids to sleep to open up Netflix and watch something on demand. But we do want to create moments in the day where it's kind of the opposite of those custom personalized experience. Experiences that you are, by definition, having with other people, ideally in the same room, but even if not in the same room, in the, in the same virtual space. So the first experiment production show that we put together is a show called Out of Tune. And you know, with all the, uh, the highbrow talk about you know, human species, we ended up making a, a game, a music game. Um, but um, we thought it's, it's going to answer some of those um, needs. And it will be a game that you play together with your friends and family in the same room and with uh, thousands of others online. Um, so I'll show you a, a bit of a sizzle reel of Out of Tune. Hmm. So we built a green screen studio in New York. We have a DJ and a host. And guests that are coming. And then it's like name the tune from the old times. And you're playing on your phone and trying to guess it. And you see the comments going on the side. Throwback Thursday. We have now squads, but people get together virtually and try and compete together. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Hey, Mary Mac, is that a recorder? Killed it. That's three winners. Congratulations to We have one winner. So we start every show with a 10 minute uh, DJ session. And people come in, there's you know nothing to do beside connect with uh, with others, get shout outs from the DJ, but you feel the energy already there where there's you know a couple thousand people that are just coming to hanging out live right now with the DJ and, and talk with each other, and then when the game begin. Um, and that's about 15 minutes, you go through this journey because you're a participant in the show. You're not a passive viewer. You're part of it. 
So, you know, you get excited, the dopamine is going, the adrenaline, the tension, it's all about you. You're at the center of the experience. <clears throat> and we think that that's a new breed of, of experiences, a, a new type of media that's going to be created um, that is native to the internet. So, you know, the old uh, type of live entertainment, you know, whether it's news or sports or, or major events, you know, those are, are still out there. They're not, they're not going away. But you know, the amount of time we spend on those have declined significantly. And then you have a new breed of, of live experiences where the internet has dem democratized production. Everybody can pull out their phone and broadcast live on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. But it's still you as a, as a consumer of both those types of entertainment. You're a viewer. You're a passive. It's not about you. You're not at the center of the experience. And we think there is a new breed of experiences. Again, it's not replacing others, complementing them serves other needs, has a different type of, of payoff. Um, and you see it with games, um, that social games are now, both on mobile and on the consoles, are doing better than the non-social games. And you have a new, t new types of, of experiences where you know, it's very uh, obvious with Peloton, where people feel like they're in the studio and they're competing against other people. Um, and you have a different type of energy versus just watching um, a show on, on TV and cycling along with it, or what HU has done with trivia, what we're doing with music, and then there's a slew of, of experiences that we think are going to come out, some using, using deep vision tech, because you want to enable people in their own home to connect with, um, with others and be active and, you know, and contribute into the system, and visual tech is going to play a big role. If we look at fitness, you know, what Mirror is doing, um, I think there's a few other companies that are keeping track of, of, uh, of what exercising you're doing and can give you feedback, but can also connect you with, with others. So we think, you know, when we look at the future of, of entertainment, we hope that this new type of participatory media will become part of our diets. And it's, it's not just about games. It could be about fitness. It could be about cooking. Um, it could be around dating. It could be around almost any activity that today we're watching passively and just trying to put us at the center of the experience. And we think it's gonna play a major role in, in the way we're connecting with, with other people. Ideally, at the end, um, we'd love people to have the experiences that we create to, sh to experience them together with other people in the same room. We sit with, with Out of Tune today because people are getting together instead of your you know, three kids each playing a different game uh, on their phones, they're coming together and trying to help each other win. Um, and that's something that, that is beautiful and we'd like to create more of those moments during the day for people where they do things together with other people, have fun um, or get some benefit from it, but feel less lonely. And that's it. Thank you so much.